Hello and welcome to the man behind the mask. My story, the 10,000 subscriber special. We recently hit 10,000 subscribers and to be honest, it is one of the greatest feelings in the world. I never thought that my little channel would make it to this point, but here we are and I couldn't be happier. I felt with this milestone, it was time to do something special for you and to let you know a little bit on my YouTube story and more so about the man behind the Shih Tzu and a hockey mask. YouTube has always been an emotional site for me due to it being a form of mental release. This channel honestly wasn't my first, in fact this is my third channel. Now before you think I've been dividing my time between channels you've never heard of, that is not the case. After my cat named Sammy I had for 21 years passed away, I made a channel with the videos of him on it as a memorial. The channel was a form of healing for me and my family, but I have forgotten the password and have no control over it now. Honestly, I think it's still up under the name of Manx vs. Steakbone. After this period of time, I didn't post anything. Years later, on September 12, 2013, I created a YouTube account just so I had a place that I could make a playlist for songs that I could listen to while doing other things on my computer. A year later we had to put a trail cam up in our hallway since we had constant issues of things being stolen via our son. It was during this time that I was reviewing the footage and caused strange anomaly in our house and on August 31st 2014 I decided to start the Ben Miller channel to get everyone's input as to what it was. The channel stayed quiet for a while, but again I returned to YouTube as a place of emotional support on December 9th, 2014. As many of you are aware, I am a construction worker as my normal day job, and during that year we had been out of work and out of unemployment for quite some time. I was trying to help us out every way I knew how, but to no avail. It got to the point where I couldn't sleep, barely eat, and kind of withdrawed from my daily life since the stress was so much. Normally, I'm an upbeat, positive person, but during this time I was at my lowest point. It was on that day in December that I came to YouTube to kind of take my mind off of things, if not at the very least use it as a hobby. When I started to think of what I could do videos on at that time, I couldn't make up my mind, but knew that I didn't want to do paranormal videos since I thought people would think my trail cam video was fake if my channel was only paranormal. This led me to making video game related material and just about anything that I thought might be interesting. Even looking back at my old videos, I see I got to a point that I would throw different topics out there hoping for one to stick. It soon became apparent that my paranormal type videos did much better than my video game ones and that no matter what other content I made, people would still think my trail cam video was fake. Just so it is said, two years later, I still don't know what I caught on that trail camera, nor is it fake in any way. I have always had a fascination with the paranormal and the cryptids since I was a small child. This may be evident with some of my personal paranormal videos. There are some I have yet to share, but that may be a story for another time. As for my contact with spirits, I didn't ask for it, and in fact they made their presence known to me when I was very young, even though it terrified me. Back to my YouTube story. Many have been confused about my channel being called Ben Miller and my videos stating Ice Wolf videos. This all came about, as mentioned before, that my channel was started before I was even considering making a YouTube channel. With Google Plus at the time, only real names could be used, so I was forced to use my name. Ice Wolf videos was my idea at making a type of brand, such as Machinima or Watch Mojo. The idea for the name came from two different nicknames I had growing up. At one time during college I worked in the frozen section of a grocery store and frequently was able to handle working in the huge storage freezers and back for an extended period of time without a coat. My co-workers, being around the same age as me, quickly branded me the name Iceman. Wolf came from a nickname I had since I was 16 and it came from the tribe of Benjamin using the symbol of the wolf. Later in life, many people would come to only call me this, and at one point it became obvious that quite a few never knew my real name. I played softball for about five years, where every game I would paint my face like the character Wolf Hawkfield from Virtua Fighter, 
so that didn't help people to know my real name either. Anyway, I took my two nicknames and put them together to form my branding. I recently found out I could finally change my channel name to Ice Wolf Videos, but have not done so since my name makes it a bit more personal when people contact me, as well as after hitting 10,000 subscribers, I think the sudden change would be more confusing. As far as my channel icon, again, it is a bit of a mix, obviously. My Shih Tzu named Chewy is very near and dear to my heart, and that picture with the glowing eyes isn't photoshopped or changed in any way. I saw that image and thought, this has to be my logo, but I didn't just want an image of my dog. I'm a huge fan of Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th series, so the hockey mask fit. Maybe at one point I'll tell you the story of Chewy and I, where he chose me, and at first I didn't want to claim him due to Sammy passing, but that story will come later, but you'll have to tell me if you want to hear it. I almost ended this video here, but I realized a bit of information that you may have always wondered about, and that is my phrase at the end of every video. My father was always loving towards my brother and I, and every time we left the house, he would tell us he loved us and to be safe. He believed that if something tragic happened when we left the house, that the last thing he said to us and the last thing we would remember of him saying was that he loved us and to be safe. As far as the later, if you were curious, I know it is later. I say it that way on purpose. That comes from my brother, where every conversation we have, he ends it with later, rather than saying goodbye. I never knew if he said it due to not wanting to say goodbye, but I liked it and I added it to my videos. Okay, I think I covered everything I wanted to talk about at this point. I hope you enjoyed getting to know my YouTube story, and I am sorry if you thought I would reveal my face here. Maybe if you like this video and would be interested in my personal story, I might do it. Anyway, get ready for it, say it with me. With that. Be safe, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.